What is up everyone? Welcome back. We got the Fusion by Power A Pro wired controller here and it is looking fresh. I got this a couple days ago. I love it. So I decided, hey, why not do a review on it? This baby has a mappable pro pack, assign inputs on the fly to one of four removable rear paddles to optimize your play style. A three-way trigger lock system adjusts for shorter trigger response and faster action, maybe. And not the least, swappable parts. Yeah, you said it. Remove the magnet faceplate to quickly swap out analog sticks and anti-friction rings. Play your way. Dual rumble motors, 3.5 medium audio jack, metallic accents, soft finish. This baby comes with anti-friction wings. We get two pairs, one green one, one silver one. The silver one is a little bit smaller than the green one. I just equipped the green one on there so I could have more room swinging around. All right, gamers, as you can see, the silver anti-friction rings are a little bit smaller than the green ones. They're thicker though for that quicker response action. I personally like the green one because of what I said prior to. It gives you a little bit more room and I think it looks a bit cooler to be honest with you, but to each their own. Which one are you gonna choose if you choose this baby? This baby has a soft touch finish on the top and it feels amazing. Next we have the Mappable Pro Pack. With this baby, you can connect any button on the controller to map to that Mappable Pro Pack. This is great for players that like that quick action response or for players that play a certain way with their hands and they don't have enough room space or they don't have enough reaction time to move up and down to hit other buttons. Next we got the Alps Analog Thumbsticks. One with the engrave, one with the round top for that certain player that likes certain styles. These ones are a little bit bigger than the other ones. I personally like the smaller ones. But if you get this controller, this may actually work for you. I feel like these work better on flying games, like uh, planes or car games. But it depends, teach their own. Next we have the 9.8 foot or three meter braided USB cable with snap lock and inline release. Yeah, it feels really cool. It's very durable. It's much better than any other wired controller that I have ever bought. And to be honest with you, I think this baby's gonna last me a pretty long time. You can also replace the top of it if anything were to go wrong. I'm somewhat of a clumsy person. I normally pull and tug my wires sometimes. Luckily I don't have my controller plugged in, but when I tug on this one, I, I can really feel how strong it is. Following that, we have the three-way trigger lock system on the back. We got the T3 functionality for the least response, as you can see right there, all the way down. We have the T2 for the medium response. You can see the difference as I'm pushing down on the controller here. And then we have the T1 for the highest response, quickest response that you can possibly get on this controller. I really love using this. I personally use T1 when I'm playing Reinhardt on Overwatch. It's, it's really good. I love this. I love this a lot. People will be singing songs about our legacy. I know, I know. The controller looks so nice on the top, but it's also easy to take off. Check it out. On the inside are magnets placed very strategically, so it's easy to take off and put back on. Whenever I look at this, this just reminds me of the Terminator, but like controller style. Around the buttons, we have metallic accents. They look very cool, but I personally think it would be really cool if we could replace them and put green ones on there or like different colors, that'd be so sick. Connection for the analogs are very simple and easy. All you gotta do is slightly pull it off, but you gotta be careful not to push down in it or apply too much pressure on the side. Honestly, this is like Harry Potter and you're casting spells. This is your wand. It's really simple, it's fun to do, and I, I just love looking at this thing whenever I take it off like Limgardia Leviosa, or however you say it. And then, wow, that easy. You just snap it right back on, make sure it's fully in place, and you're good to go anytime. It has a standard 3.5 mm audio jack and dual rumble motors that come on every controller. You honestly see that grip? That's injected rubber grips. These work flawlessly. Even when I sweat, I still feel like I have grip. Now to equip the Mappable Pro Pack is very easy and not complicated at all. You just take off the back of the controller, you slide that in, the top front first, and then you push it straight in and she's good to go. Like it's, it's literally that easy. This is literally baby proof. 
Okay, maybe not baby proof, but you know what I mean. That button there atop the mappable pro pack is used to map any button on the actual controller to those pads on the actual back of the controller itself. It's very easy to map these controllers to any paddle. You just hold on the button on the back until you see the flashing light at the front right underneath the Xbox button symbol there. And then all you literally gotta do is just push any button that you want on the controller and then push any paddle that you want that button to get mapped to. Very simple and easy. Honestly, I have no problems with this controller. I love this controller very much. Out of 10, I'd probably give it a 9.8, only because of the fact that I can't take off the uh, mag metallic accents and replace them with different colored ones. But overall, I give this baby a whopping thumbs up and I love it. You guys should definitely check this out. This is the Fusion Power A Pro Controller.